Welcome everyone to famed Sanford City in between the hedges in Athens, Georgia, home to the Bulldogs and 90,000 of their closest friends. We're expecting a full house this afternoon. We've got an anticipated clash here as we'll see a squad out of the Big 12, the Colorado Buffaloes, taking on the number one team in the land, the Georgia Bulldogs. 3A Sports College Football, I'm Chris Fowler, here in the booth with Kirk Street. I think we've talked long enough, Kirk. Let's get this game going. will kick this away to start us off. They'll return it from inside the five. Solid job by the coverage team. They bring him down at the 16. The Bulldogs offense comes on the field first today. We'll see if this quarterback can get off to a great start, Kirk. So much for this offense and this whole team, really, orbits around him. Yes, sir. The de facto Mr. Center of the Universe. It's his world when he's out there, and it's up to him to create and orchestrate the details on the field. His team, his way. Can't wait to see what he does today. They're just trying to establish the run. There's not much there, but give credit to that defensive line and those linebackers attacking the line of scrimmage to negate any chance at all. Second down play coming up. Dropping back. It's Beck. Running back has it on a screen now. Hard running through a tackle. And they're finally able to stop him. The great execution on the screen pass fooled the defense there. Just a really good ball here to be able to pick up this first down for the Georgia offense. And you know, being able to have a balanced attack, so important in modern college football, and Georgia does that as well as anybody. How aggressive do you get on first and ten? Off the play fake, looking to throw. And he's going to stretch. And is intercepted. Not much of a return, but the important thing is the interception sets the offense up at the 45. And just like that, this defense takes advantage of a bad decision by the quarterback, steps in front of it for the interception, and now they've got great field position here early in this game. Listen to the crowd energy here in the early going. This is a tough, tough environment for visitors. From the shotgun now, here's a handoff inside. Picks up two, so it's second and eight. For the defense coordinator this week, all week telling us about gap integrity, not giving this running back any creases at all. Really sound defense on that play. The Buffaloes come up to the line in the hurry up. Same tailback, another carry. The game good for just a few yards. The defense swarming to the football. They come to the line. A long way to go for the first down, but needing this crucial conversion right now. Looking to throw. It's Sanders. Receiver looks it in. It's complete. He's not going to get the first down. It's fourth down. Chris, give him some credit here. He's fighting to get to that first down. Breaks the tackle. Just comes up a little bit short of the first down. And the Buffaloes will line up to punt it away. And the punt head's out of bounds, taking the dangerous returner out of play here. And the Georgia offense is back out on the field. We'll see if this quarterback can shake off the interception he threw in the last possession. Catch made down the left side, an explosive play. They bring him down, but that is a huge play for this passing game. Big game. Boy, nice job here by this offense, creating an opportunity for this receiver to excel after the catch. It's early in this game, so this defense better get their arms around this receiver because he could be a monster today.
The Bulldogs move into the red zone. We'll try the ground game here with the running back. Offense getting set up. Here's second down. Trying to find some room. It's ETN. Goes backwards, losing three yards there. Man, every defensive coordinator will tell you, I just want my guys to play fast. And how about that one right there? He almost ends up tackling the quarterback as he's handing the ball off. This offense is lucky they didn't end up fumbling. Now it's third and short from the 22. You expect this is four down territory. Let's see what they do on third down. Running out of time in the pocket. And a sophomore making an impact play. Great call here going with that nickel defense, giving you more speed on the field on that third down and long. Nowhere to go. Gave the defensive line plenty of time to come up with that sack. And now it's fourth down and long. And the coach elects to send out the field goal unit. This will be a 50-yard attempt. Let's see if he's got the leg. And he's made it from 50 yards out, showing off the deep range. Boy, this guy has such a strong leg. No problem. Up into the net from 50-plus. So after coming away with three in that drive, the kickoff team is out. Doesn't bring the kick out. Touchback. They'll start at the 25. And the Buffalo's offense is back out there on the field. Last time was a quick three and out. Can they get a drive going this time? The pickup is seven yards. Now it's second and three. Great job by the offensive line here, opening up some holes and giving the running back room to run on first down. Plays like this can open up the playbook for the play caller, allow him to make that defense think, are they going to run? Maybe play action, maybe throw the ball downfield. And the Buffaloes looking to use the up-tempo offense here. And they hand it off to the back. They tackle him behind the line, a loss of four. Well, that was that excellent linebacker with a clear path just running downhill quickly. You know, I think one of the great things about watching this guy play all year is his vision. He just has great instincts. That time, the defensive line ate up all the linemen, freed up the linebacker to get into the backfield, and the result is a tackle for a loss for the backer. Looking downfield, it's Sanders. There's no one to throw to there on third down, and now it's a fourth down coming up. The Buffaloes will line up to punt it away. We're going to kick it away for the second time. Returner decides to fair catch this. And the powerful Georgia offense is back out on the field. They got points on the board last time thanks to a long-range field goal. First play of the drive, we're going to throw the football. And it's complete downfield. They've got him at the 48, but that's a first down. Chris, it's so easy to get excited about the receivers on the outside and their ability to make big plays, but the slot receivers are just as exciting, especially with their finesse, quickness, and ability to make guys miss in the middle of that field. One play moves the ball to the 48. Another first down coming up. Off the play fake, looking to throw. He's a wide open receiver, complete. Tackle made, but it's a huge gain all the way to the 33-yard line. We'll see if the defense stays in zone after that big play, if they can change things up on this drive and get a little bit more aggressive. Pass complete for a first down. The offense gets a fresh set of downs. 
It's a shotgun run call. Oh, look at the quick cut. Heads out of bounds after a solid game, more than enough to pick up a first down. Nothing better than an offense on first down to be able to pick up big, positive yards like that. You can either keep giving it to the back, or it can set up play action and get the defense to come up to the line of scrimmage, and you can throw it over top of them. Georgia setting up with a first and ten now. Here comes a throw from the red zone. Grab down the middle. It's Bell. He moves the ball to the seven-yard line. Offense has a first and goal now. This offense has become a first down machine, and that's so demoralizing for a defense, especially for those star players who don't sub out as much. But the fourth quarter really starts to wear you out. They'll try to run it in on first and goal. That's a nice tackle there by the senior. Offense facing second and goal. Kibbe decides to keep it here. They tackle him behind the line, a loss of four. Well, the quarterback does everything right except pitch the football. The defensive end's going to take him, which is great. That's what you want. But you got to get that ball out quicker to not allow that defensive end to make that play. Offense coming to the line. They might have a chance for a couple more plays before we reach the end of the quarter. Look at a throw on third and goal. Running back grabs it on a screen. Into the end zone. Touchdown, Georgia. And now the try here for the extra point. The extra point is good, and they stretch the lead a little bit more. Kickoff team on the field getting set now. And he takes this from inside the five to be tackled at the 17. Strong job by the coverage team. And one final play before the end of the quarter. Opening play at the drive. Quick throw to the left. Defense makes the tackle here on the final play of the first quarter. Well, Kirk, it's Georgia on top so far. And as we reach the end of one, the lead is starting to mount. Let's take a quick look at the first quarter stats before we move on. Crucial stage of the game as we begin the second quarter. Is this one going to get out of hand? Second down after that previous play. Back to throw. It's Sanders. Receiver makes the grab. And the defense swarms not much of a gain on that completion. Chris, the more we watch these spread offenses attack in today's game, it's not just about the vertical shots with the taller receivers on the outside. Defenses are challenged even more by those smaller slot receivers and their quickness in space. And the Buffaloes come up to the line to crank the tempo up here. Third down play here out of the shotgun. And he pulls in the catch. He's tackled quickly, but the yardage is good enough for the first down. And you just continue to see the chemistry between these two. And they told us yesterday in our production meeting, they spent hours and hours of working and developing that chemistry and that rhythm by throwing together throughout those summer months. And, man, it's starting to really pay off. He's become his security blanket for the quarterback, and especially on third down, get him the ball. The pass rush closing in. Finds his man. Really solid first down gain. He's just short of the marker, so maybe a chance here to take a downfield shot. Man, isn't it fun to watch running backs who can add that dimension to the passing game? They're so dangerous because once they catch the football, they're operating in much more open space than they would be if they're just getting a handoff. And it really tests the linebacker's ability to cover out the space. 
looking to throw yet again. Looks downfield and connects with a wide open wide receiver. They get him down, but the game moves the ball to the plus 40. You know, we talked this week with the offensive coordinator about what makes this receiver so special. He kept referring to his route running. Here's an example of that. Great route, enough separation to give the quarterback a nice lane to throw the football. And the Buffaloes pick up first down yardage to keep the drive going. And the ball is handed off out of the shotgun. They stop him, but it's a first down. Look, I realize on any play call, when it's properly executed, it can go to the house for a touchdown. But the runs that really make a game plan work are the ones where you get just what you need. And he barely got the first down, but he got it. The offense finally producing here. Sets up a first and ten. To the air. It's Sanders. It's a quick grab. Breaks a tackle on the play and makes a decent game. Well, defending this guy, you need more than one defender. You really got to stress rallying to the football because this guy can make people miss. And completion makes it second and short. And the single back takes the handoff. And they test the middle there, but get nothing. I mean, Chris, you have to admire this offense. They continue to try to sprinkle in the run game, even though it's not been able to really get established. But they're not just becoming one-dimensional. You've got to respect that, and hopefully at some point it'll pay off. So now it's third and short from the 23. Potential four-down territory. Let's see what the third down call is. The pocket breaking down. Down he goes. A sack. Oh, I love this defense and how they're playing some man coverage. And let's face it, when you do that, it's a bit risky. You can leave your defensive backs out there on islands. But the good combination of good coverage with a good pressure on the quarterback, and you come up with sacks like this. So on fourth down, they will settle for a field goal attempt. And he's got it from 48 yards out, showing off the big leg. Well, Chris, it's a nice kick here to polish off that drive with at least three points up on the board. So after the field goal, the kicker out there again to boot it away. Fielded in the end zone. It's Smith. And he's brought down at the 16. Would have been better off leaving it in the end zone for a touchback. And the Bulldogs offense is back out on the field. The last possession, they really had the passing game clicking. Move right down the field for a touchdown. Picks up three yards, so second and seven. Chris, you know, the spread error over the years has always grown offensively, but what I've been always impressed with the defenses that really build their defense to play in space still have an ability to be sound at the line of scrimmage and defend a running game. It's exactly what we saw right there. Shotgun formation. Here's an inside handoff. And they'll tackle him about the 23-yard line. Well, they didn't bust that for a big play, but it makes this third down coming up a little bit more manageable, and that certainly has a lot of value. That run sets up an important third down call for this offense. To the air, it's back. Receiver makes the catch. Brought down, but is past the line to gain. Well, that's exactly how you dice up a zone coverage. Nice throw downfield here on third down and a really good route to give the quarterback a chance to make that play. Georgia getting set with a first and ten now. Off the play fake, looking to throw. Down goes the quarterback. It's a sack. Well, you got to do a better job with your fake as the quarterback. 
the defense did not bite at all on the play action, allowing them to continue to come after the quarterback and come up with that sack. After a first down loss, it's second and long from the 23. Pre-snap motion from the receiver. Off play action, he's looking to throw. That's reeled in, it's Thomas. And they bring him down, that's a very solid gain, but still well short of the market. Now the receiver does all the work here. Man, that is easy living for this quarterback. Really good footwork by the receiver, gets the separation, and at that point, it's just pitch and catch for the quarterback. Third down here, time for perhaps one more play before the two-minute warning. Quick throw, testing the middle. And he's got it. Finally brought down, but the game moves it to the 44. It's the two-minute warning of this close, competitive first half. This Georgia offense is moving quickly down the field. Looking to throw it on first down. And he can't escape. It's a sack for the defense. A really good job by this defense. The quarterback looked to be trying to work through his progressions to find his open receiver, but before he knew it, he's on his back. Pass protection, a serious issue. Another sack makes it second and long. Dropping back, it's back. Close to the tight end. Beautiful catch right near the sideline. Gets the foot down. Yeah, you know this defense has got to be frustrated after giving up multiple conversions now on first downs. There's another one. But for the offense, and they're just playing very efficiently right now. The offense really clicking here. On first and ten here, looking to throw the ball. The sure hand, it's Thomas. He's brought down quickly as short gain gets them a few yards closer to the marker. Well, the defense didn't have any time at all to get pressure on the quarterback. He gets the ball out of his hands pretty quickly on the hitch to the receiver. That completion makes it second and medium. There's the snap. They'll set up to throw. Missed his receiver. It's incomplete. This defense just cannot get off the field. The long march moves on. Offense will keep it on the ground here. Tackle made after a nice pickup on the play. I love this unconventional call by the offense coordinator. Third and medium, a lot of times you're thinking about throwing the football, but instead they're able to run the ball with great execution, and they pick up the first down. The offense will take their first 10 out of the half to talk strategy here. First down and 10. Is the defense wearing down play number 11 on this drive coming up? And they'll go right back to him on first down. And he stopped after gaining four yards. So second and six. Defensive fans getting frustrated. Offense continues to march. Scanning the field. It's back. Makes the grab. Can he get there? Brought down after the catch, but at the eight-yard line. The offense threatening here. And the offense will now quickly spend a timeout. Quarterback looks downfield to make this throw. He wants to be able to get the ball to be able to pick up enough yards for a first down. But instead, he gets the ball at least underneath to the drag route and gets some positive yards. And it's caught. Touchdown, Bulldogs! Kirk, they were backed up to start the drive, but some bold play calling, great execution, and reach the end zone. You know, it's easy to just kind of pull your horns in and get conservative when you're pushed way back close to your own goal line, but not this offense. They came out, showed the confidence that they have in their quarterback, and it paid off. Nice touchdown.
So they'll try to add to the lead now with the PAT. And the kick is up and good. They tack on a point to their lead. So after the touchdown, here's the kickoff, and we'll see if the opposing offense has time to answer before halftime. Fields it inside the five-yard line. Makes it to the 16. That's good coverage there. And the Colorado offense is back out on the field. It'd be a surprise if they took a risk here with the final seconds of the first half, backed up near their own end zone. Tackle right at the 30, good enough to move the sticks. Timeout is called to talk strategy late in this close game with halftime approaching. It's a first and 10 play coming up for the offense. Quarterback looking to connect with the receiver here. Looking to set up a screen pass here. And it'll be smothered right at the line for no gain. Offense stops the clock with their second timeout to talk strategy. So the offense looking to be efficient here. Not much time remaining before the end of the half. From the shotgun, handoff inside. Timeout is called to talk strategy. Time for just one or two plays here before halftime. So it's third and long from the 29. The defense play coverage or blitz. Dropping back, looking to throw for the first down. But just gives up on the play, throws it away, and now it's fourth down. Well, Chris, obviously they had to go through the air there to try to pick up this third down and long, but when you're so far behind the chains, boy, you really allow this defense to dictate things, and it allows them to put pressure on your quarterback and can affect the timing, as we saw in this play. Needs a completion here on fourth down. Going for a big play downfield. And it falls incomplete. They tried for a huge gain there, but that's it for this period. Meadows going to wrap up the first half here. Let's kick it now to Kevin Connors with our halftime update. Thanks, men. The end of a very entertaining first two quarters of football in Athens. And it's been said football is a game of inches. And guess what? Based on the comparison between third down conversion rate today and the average yard per play, how can you argue that? I mean, the low-lying fruit is to look at some of the explosive plays we've seen and panic. But really, this game is going to come down to which team is more efficient when they have the ball and how they play when it matters most. And on that note, time to throw it back to our guys at the stadium. The Dogs will kick it away to get us going in the second half. We thought about returning it, but instead takes a knee. It'll be a touchback, and they'll start at the 25. And the Colorado offense is back out on the field. And they'll start the third quarter here on the ground. They tackle him behind the line, a loss of four. Well, they keep trying to run the football, and they keep getting dominated at the line of scrimmage. That has been a theme throughout this entire game. We've talked about it earlier in the game. It's not changing at all. They've become one-dimensional. I think it's allowed this defense to really lock in on that quarterback. Dropping back, it's Sanders. And they hit him just as he releases the ball. It's incomplete. Well, these guys just continue to struggle throwing the football. You know, whether it's been running the wrong route, the quarterback not being accurate, the offensive line not doing their job. It's been a collective effort, and it's a big reason why they're trailing now in this game. Third down. This offense could really use a conversion here down multiple scores. Quarterback drops back. Goes to his right side there for the completion. The defense will wrap him up after about a six-yard gain. Not enough for the first. It's fourth down. The Buffaloes will have to kick it away. He's got some daylight turning on the speed. And the returner will be brought down. And the Georgia offense is back out on the field. The last drive, the passing game, very effective. Moved him right down the field. And the defense make adjustments. Quick throw over the middle. Looks downfield and finds a receiver who worked his way wide open. They bring him down, but the veteran quarterback shows off that trademark arm strength. 
Really good route here by the receiver, but I love the quarterback's ability to look off that safety and make that throw, and that's part of the quarterback's job here when you play in Athens for this Georgia offense. They've had some great quarterbacks over the years. Guys like Matthew Stafford and Aaron Murray and more recently Jake Fromm and, of course, Stetson Bennett, who won back-to-back -back national championships, and what they're seeing today from this quarterback, they got to be very proud of. Offense getting set. Second down play here. Back to pass. It's back. Receiver looks it in. It's complete. And uses his speed to pick up solid yardage. Boy, a nice drag route here. And I thought the patience by the quarterback was the key. Puts it in front of his receiver. Gives him a chance to make the catch. And picks up a little bonus. Nice yards after the catch. Georgia setting up for the first and ten now. Off the play fake, looking to throw. Makes a quick catch. And they stop him just short of the end zone. The offense set up with a first and goal now. So a positive play, Kirk, with the crossing route. This is the defensive communication the coaches were worried about in this game. Yeah, it really is a challenge in this call. When the offense goes with that deep crosser, the defense has to do a good job of communicating, really keeping their head on a swivel to understand who's coming into their zone. That time they just lost the receiver and they gave up a big gain. Back-to-back -back big plays. Defense is reeling. Set up first and goal now. I'll try to muscle toward the end zone on the ground. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. Boy, it is tough to run the football inside this five-yard line. Give all the credit to that defensive line. Eating up those linemen, allowing the rest of the defense to fly to the football for that short loss. Second down and goal upcoming. On the ground, trying to punch it in for the score. They stop him again. Back-to-back -back plays go nowhere here on the goal line. That back just had nowhere to go. Got to give credit to the defense and their run fits on that play. So no gain on second down. Now it's third and goal from the two. And they're trying to punch it in here. And he will be stuffed for no gain. Well, Chris, they come up short of the goal line here, but they've got to still consider going for it. You could try to punch it in from the two or... I'm sure they've got a couple good handful of two-point conversion plays that they could use for this kind of situation. Let's see what they can dial up. And out comes the field goal unit. Right down the middle. And they add to their lead. Well, they almost put a touchdown on the board, but instead they come away with three points. Set for the kickoff here after adding to this big lead. He's going to bring this out a few yards deep in the end zone. He's got an opening. Watch out. He's got great speed. On the move. Still going. It's a foot race. All the way for a touchdown. We knew this returner was a dangerous guy. That was an electrifying play all the way to the house. Chris, it was great blocking, but the guy just looked so natural back there. As far as once he got his hands on the ball, it was like he was setting up his blocks, knowing exactly where he wanted to go. And then once he hit it right around midfield, nobody was catching. Now the try here for the extra point. PAT up and good. They get a little bit closer. Kickoff team on the field now as they get set to send this one away. And he'll bring it out from inside the 10. And he stopped at the 19. Good job by the coverage team. And the powerful Georgia offense is back out on the field. 
The last possession, they had to settle for a chip shot field goal. Can they find the end zone this time out? Off the play fake on first down. Got him for a sack. A big play made them one of the senior leaders of this defense. The defender did not bite on the fake at all. They were in pass rush mode the entire time. So it's second down and long here from the 13. Back now goes in motion. Defense will have to adjust. That's reeled in. It's Bell. They bring him down. That's a very solid game, but still well short of the first down. This is an example of a quarterback in his offense just taking what the defense gives you. Not a huge play, but positive yards. The defense wants to give that throw to you. You take it, get the ball to your receiver, stay ahead of the sticks. And he'll drop back here on third down. Cannot connect. Incomplete. And now fourth down. Oh, I like the call here. Third down and long. You know they're going to apply pressure. The screen game almost works. But you've got to complete the pass for your guy to have a chance to turn up field. It's a missed opportunity there on third down and long. And the Bulldogs will bring their punt team on the field now. Oh, and he's got a crease here. Look out. And the coverage team makes the stop on this return. And here comes the Colorado offense back out on the field. They're coming off a three and out, looking to produce a positive drive here. Looking for his big tight end. And he finds a wide open receiver. They forgot about him downfield. They bring him down, but an explosive play by this offense. Big game. Man, what a great effort by the tight end. Not only does he make the catch, but how about the effort there to break that tackle to pick up more yards? And the Buffaloes will hustle to the line here to run the hurry up. Little eye candy here from the offense and pre-snap motion. Out of the shotgun, he hands it off. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. Boy, how about this defense? Just so physical against the run. These guys have not been able to do anything on the ground, and it's because of that defensive line and those linebackers taking away the run game. Getting set. Here's second down. Looking to pass. It's Sanders. Receiver makes the grab and tackled there by the defense. I understand the concept of bringing the blitz, and you hope that it gets home. But if you don't, you leave your corner in man-to-man -man situation against this wide receiver, that is a tough ask for this corner, and he's going to lose that battle more often than not. Urgency now for the offense. They hate to come up empty on this drive down multiple scores. Makes the handoff, looking to throw. Caught near the goal line. Tackle is made at the four. It'll be first down and goal. This is a big conversion by this offense. They're down now in the second half. Probably limited opportunities at this point in the game. Every chance you get your hands on the ball, you need points. They keep this drive alive right here. And the Buffaloes are moving quickly down the field. First and goal, handoff. Couldn't quite get there, but brought down at the one-yard line. And second down and goal now for this offense. On the ground, trying to power toward the goal line. And he takes it in for the score. Touchdown, Buffaloes. That's a crucial score. Let's see if they can build momentum and complete this comeback. Well, I know they're still trailing, but that score is a great first step in trying to break down this lead. You don't want to leave it all to the fourth quarter when the pressure really intensifies and you have limited time. They're set now to try the PAT. PAT is good. They still trail, though.
Getting set to kick the ball off now. Turner looking to make a play here. To be tackled at the 17. Strong job by the coverage team. And the Bulldogs offense is back out on the field. They're coming off a quick three and out. So looking to put something together on this drive with a little more urgency. And he's tackled, but only after picking up a first down. You know, offensive linemen are just a certain breed. They're always going to do their job, no matter who's back there carrying the ball. I'll tell you what. They have a little bit more confidence when the person that's carrying the ball can break off some big-time runs. That makes them block just a little bit harder knowing what he's potentially capable of doing. Thrown quickly, caught in the right flat. Defense surrounds him. Just a short gain on that completion. And as we wrap up the third quarter, check out the comparison of these big play wide receivers. Both guys have been lighting it up so far today. One quarter to go. Let's see if this sets up as a classic finish. Second down after that run on the previous play. Grab behind the line. It's Lovett. And he's tackled for a loss after the catch. The defense all over that one. Boy, this receiver in the slot is giving this defense all kinds of problems. He has another catch on the day. You may want to adjust out, get out of your base, maybe try five or six defensive backs on the field. Somebody that can match up more athletically against this slot receiver. On third down, he drops to throw. And he's got his man open downfield. Physical run breaks through a tackle. He's brought down at the six. The offense will have first and goal right there. Boy, third down, you know you're going to get a lot of pressure from this defense. Quarterback's protected. Does a great job of putting that ball where his receiver can make a play on it. What I love is what this guy does after the catch to picking up huge yards to set up now a first and goal. For the offense, a chance to extend the lead, but more importantly, milk the clock here late in the game. Looking to throw again. He's got it right near the end zone. And he will score. Touchdown, Dogs. That's another strike from this quarterback, Kirk. He is having himself a day. This guy's just having one of those days you dream about against his secondary. Let's also give credit to the wide receivers doing a nice job of getting open and the big fellas up front for giving him enough time to throw. Now the important point after attempt. Extra point, up and good. A double-digit lead now here in the fourth quarter. Here's the kickoff team now, set to boot this one away. He's going to try for a return from a couple of yards deep in the end zone. And he's brought down at the 16. Would have been better off leaving it in the end zone for a touchback. And the Buffalo's offense is back out there on the field. Keeping it on the ground here. Finds room at the 30. They'll stop him at the 34. That will be a first down. You know, all week, the defensive coordinator told us about the quarterback. He told us about the receivers and how they're going to throw the football. But, man, they better get locked in on stopping this run game because that was a big-time game. The Buffaloes will hustle to the line to run the hurry-up offense. Off the play fake, looking to throw on first down. Caught over the middle. It's Hunter. And the game just good enough for a first down. It's a nice completion there, Chris. And this possession at this point in the game is critical for them. They've got to focus on putting points on the board right now to make this a one-possession game. Offense cranking up the tempo now. No huddle. On first and ten, they'll look to throw it. Intercepted. Picked off by the defense. 
going the other way. Can they catch him? Follows the pick with a nice return before finally being brought down. Boy, would this quarterback love to have this one back. They're trying to work themselves back into this game here in the second half. And the defense comes up with a big turnover that could be the nail in the coffin. And the Georgia offense is back out on the field. They were clicking last time. Great protection. The pitch and catch was solid. Right down for a touchdown. To throw. It's back. Receiver makes the catch. They make the tackle, but that pass creates a solid game. Chris, that's another nice pickup through the air. I, I thought they might be really just out to run the football here with the lead. But instead, they're electing to throw the football. Different routes. Quarterbacks in rhythm. Really, it's almost an extension of their uh, passing game. Play action fake. Looking to throw. Grab down the middle. It's Thomas. Tackle made after a big game. I mean, Chris, look at this guy. I mean, you talk about having a great day throwing the football and leading his team to a nice, comfortable lead late in the game. And it continues. The coach is showing confidence of what he can do. The dogs looking to take advantage of this red zone trip. Caught in the backfield. It's Bell. Defense drops him for a loss. Tougher second down on the way. Man, the defense was all over that play. Just left him almost no room to work after catching the ball. Offense getting set. It's second down. They're going to run it here. And he's able to find some running room. Nice pickup. Just love watching this back run. Gets behind that offensive line, lowers his pads, and it's a nice, solid game. Crucial. Third down coming up in the red zone. Can they keep the drive going, or will they have to settle for three? Shotgun formation here on third down. And he's got it. Touchdown, Georgia. Well, that's just textbook right there. Great timing and recognition by the quarterback. Great route by this receiver. He gave a nice stem to the outside before he went to the post. Perfect timing, tough to defend, and an easy touchdown for this offense. And now here comes the point after attempt. An extra point up and good makes it a three-score game up 17 here in the fourth. Now they get set to kick it away. Return starts from inside the five. The returner is brought down. Gets it started on the next drive. And the Colorado offense is back out on the field. This offense trying to bounce back the last possession and then in a pick. Looks over the middle and that's complete. They stopped the receiver, but that's a solid gain on that play. I love what the defense is doing here. Sitting back, giving up some plays underneath, tackling these guys inbounds, and just keep that clock rolling. And the Buffaloes come to the line to run the hurry up. To throw. It's Sanders. That's a dangerous throw. It falls incomplete, but this defense almost had a second interception today. Boy, oh boy, Chris, this quarterback is getting way too loose with the football. He's already thrown an interception on the last series, almost has another one here. He's got to start taking better care of the football. It's off the incompletion. It sets up a third down and three. Looking to pick up the first down through the air. And he cannot hold on to the ball. That's going to bring up fourth down. How about the call here? They go with the screen on third down and short. You don't see that call very often. They're not able to even complete the pass, so no chance at a conversion. So we got fourth and short. The offense stays on the field, down multiple possessions. Easy choice. Fourth down, looking to throw for it. He's got it. Enough for a first down. Brought down at the 28, and it's good enough for a first down. 
Nice, easy route here for the quarterback and receiver. A hitch on fourth down. And not only do they get the first down, but some positive yards here for this offense. And the Buffaloes with first and ten here. Looking to chuck it again. It's an out route. The catch made. They make the stop, but not before a solid game that time. Chris, here we are in the fourth quarter. These guys are trailing. Had been a great day, but with this quarterback, he's as gifted as anybody in the country. You never count these guys out. The Buffalo is looking to keep this drive moving. And looking to throw now on first down. And with nobody open, he chooses to just throw it away. This is the sixth play on the drive. Looking to throw. It's Sanders. Short connection to the tight end here. And the defense smothers him for no gain. Well, they're just fundamentally sound right where you want to be after the completion. Nowhere to go after that catch. They're backed up here, trying to make something happen on third and long. Dropping back. Looking to throw for the first down. He'll take a deep shot here. The pass is intercepted. Short return tackle made at the 27. A crucial takeaway. And that's the two-minute warning. And this offense looking to run out the clock and secure an impressive win here today. They'll tackle him right at the 31. Nice solid run here by this back. Did a nice job of just kind of finding that lane. Pick up some positive yards here on first and 10. What's the play call here on second down for this offense? And they'll just try to run some clock here, keeping it on the ground. Good enough for the first down at the 37. Yeah, I like this call here late in the game like this with the lead. Nothing too fancy, just right up the middle. Trust that offensive line and this running back and just keep working that clock. First down here for this offense. Takes the handoff. It's ETN. He's brought down, but not before the game to the 42-yard line. It's exactly what you want to see as a play caller. You get positive yards to be able to kind of keep you on schedule as a play caller. That's all you can ask for. Good job up front and a nice run. Here's the second down play. Using the ground game here. Tailback has the handoff. The tackle is made. The clock runs out. And that will do it.